Welcome back. While voting rights for all Americans, including Native Americans, are taking center stage at the federal level, the Native American Voting Rights Act is supposed to help undo decades of voter suppression. Vanessa Misiagna went to Navajo Nation to see what this passive act would mean so much. Native Americans have contributed great things to this country, our freedoms, and even to democracy all around the world. Beneath Window Rock, on Navajo Nation, a memorial is dedicated to the code talkers of World War II, Navajo soldiers who used their native tongue to create an uncrackable secret cipher. If it wasn't for the Navajo code talkers, we would have not won World War II. President of Navajo Nation Jonathan Nez is proud of everything his people have contributed to the United States, despite everything that's been taken away. That is why he believes it is only right to make sure the voices of the Navajo and the other 574 native tribes are heard. We need the federal government once again to fulfill their obligation and to protect the rights of indigenous peoples here in this country, and that includes voting. It should be easier. It's by standing in Navajo Nation that one can begin to truly feel the reach of the land. Located in Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah, it is more than 27,000 square miles and is the largest Native American reservation in the country. It's even bigger than the state of West Virginia. Getting around in general, can be difficult, but navigating to a ballot box for many is nearly impossible. The truth is Native Americans have to travel sometimes over a hundred miles to get to a ballot box. That's crazy. <laughs> Jacqueline DeLeon is an attorney with the Native American Rights Fund, a nonprofit dedicated to fighting injustices against Native communities. She says that distance is not the only setback to voting in Indian country. Many homes don't have addresses, making voting by mail tough, and some only speak their native languages. An act is up for debate on the federal level that will help bring down those unique barriers. It creates a federal mandate that there has to be polling places on the reservation. And it also means that there are accommodations for things like people that don't have addresses and gets them ways that they can register to vote. What Delion is talking about is the Native American Voting Rights Act, which is right now being included in the larger John Lewis Voting Rights Act. It would also make tribal ID cards viable for voting purposes, and it will create a task force to keep tabs on inequities. Though some politicians have said this act will only open the door to voter fraud, the Native American Voting Rights Act has bipartisan support and hope is high that it will pass. For President Jonathan Nez, this means giving his people a chance to be heard that they may never have gotten before. We'll protect the Native American vote into the future, not just for us right now, but for our children, our grandchildren, and future generations to come. I'm Vanessa Mishani reporting.